there's a large literature and, and that, that's investigated the question of what makes government effective in general, both in raising taxes and regulating and providing services to the citizens. And there's sort of two broad approaches to that. One is to see that as a need to build stronger coercive power in, in the state so that it can deliver those objectives administratively and by coercing citizens into um, complying. Another is to see it as essentially a problem, a contractual problem where the state delivers on behalf of the citizens and the citizens comply with obligations. And I think when we look at the COVID crisis, we see elements of both of, both of those. There are some regulatory measures that the state has implemented, but there are other things where the state is going to operate principally by getting citizens to comply with social distancing or wearing uh, face masks. And when we, when we then begin to look at where we've done well and where we've done badly, it's going to be where those measures have been best tailored to a given situation. So you could imagine a country in which you could largely rely on a, a, a mechanisms of voluntary compliance with relatively light use of government regulation, or, or you could say that the only way through this is to regulate, to be very precise about the way in which citizens have to behave and to coerce them into doing that. And I think the question is going to be ultimately to what extent um, we, can, we can map successful examples, cases where I mapped both in terms of um, the the um, extent of the disease, the, the number of deaths, and uh, and but also in terms of the economic and social consequences. Um, and of course, there's the short-term economic consequence in the form of people losing jobs, and um, uh, but there are the longer-term consequences in terms of inequalities and in terms of um, potential for the economy to suffer for a very long period. So when we're steering our way through it, it's really going to allow us to revisit many of the issues that we've been debating for a long time about how government can play an effective role in relation to that and how much you need a balance of voluntary compliance versus a more regulatory approach.